Hi friend, here we are going to find the limit of this trigonometric functions. So uh, before uh, writing, let me write here the question once again. Limit when x tends to 0, right? Ratio of sine 4x to the sine 2x, right? So now, how to find the limit of this, right? We have uh, learned a formula uh, recently in previous video that limit when x tends to 0 sine x divided by x is equals to 1 right this is our the formula our, our formula and we have to solve this uh, problem also based on this formula so anyhow we have to convert our this expression in this form right so to uh, do so right what I'm going to do now here I'm writing limit x tends to 0 here sine 4x divided by I'm writing 4x myself I'm writing here right S and again here is sine 2x right so again I'm writing here uh, 1 sorry 2x 2x divided by sine 2x now see here is sine 4x that is here and it is sine 2x that is here in the denominator means the enumerator sine 4x was there and in the denominator there was sine 2x and now what I do here I write myself 4x in the denominator right so I have to again write it here in the numerator also the 4x right and but not 4x I write it here 2x in numerator so I have to put here 2 extra right because uh, 2 to the 4x so I mean to say simply uh, to recover this right uh, I'm just writing here see uh, it's sine 4x right and I put here 4x and then I multiplied here uh, I have to multiply it 4x right so it will cut and it will get the sine 4x only and again you know uh, here is sine 2x right sine 2x so what I did here exactly I split this 4x into 2x times 2 and now what I got sine 4x upon 4 I got in this form again and sine 2x upon 2 I got again in this form right here but here this 2x we can write here also and downstairs that I'm going to do in next video I uh, said in next step <laughs> I'm sorry right so again so uh, again limit right when x tends to 0 sine 4x divided by 4x times what I'm doing now here 1 whole divided by sine 2x divided by 2x right times 2 right now you know uh, I'm just telling you know when x tends to 0 right 2 of x also uh, tends to 0 of course right and 4 of x also tends to 0 when x tends to 0 then 2x also tends to 0 and 4x tends to z also 0 because this is x is almost almost close to very close to 0 right almost very close not exactly but very close to 0 so this 2x will be almost also very close to 0 and 4x will be also very close to 0 right so now I'm just plugging the value of this all here of the limit and now what I can write here limit right uh, let me change the color right when 4x tends to 0 right sine of 4x divided by 4x again limit when 2x tends to 0 right 1 divided by sine 2x upon 2 times the 2 this is the constant so the limit of the constant is always the same constant value so we will not write this right and we have learned this in previous uh, videos also limit of the any constant is the same right so now what I can write limit of 4x tends to 0 sine of 4x divided by 4x I can easily write here now 1 and here also limit when 2x tends to 0 1 divided by sine 2x upon 2 that is 1 upon 1 
times this 2. Why I'm writing like this here? Because it matches with this. See here. Limit when sin x uh, limit when x tends to 0, sin x upon x is equals to 1. So it, it, it is exactly matching with this, right? So now I simply what I'm writing overall 1, it's uh, 1 upon 1, that's 1, right? So 1, 1, it's 2, right? So our limiting value is 2. So we got the value 2. So, you know, in this kinds of problem, in any trigonometric problem, if you uh, feel, and we have to find out the limit of that trigonometric function, then we have to simply uh, reduce that uh, problem in this form, in the standard form, that is sin x upon x, or tan x upon x, or cos x. We have to find in the, uh, sorry, we have to take, uh, we have to bring it in this form, right? By anyhow, what, whatever you can do, right? Uh, but do not violate any laws of mathematics. You can do anything and transfer it into the uh, some standard form that we have learned in previous video, right? And then easily by plugging the value of the variable or limiting value, you can easily find out the limiting value of the trigonometric function that you need to find out, right? So we'll be meeting in the next video with a different type of problem. Bye-bye.